it's not the best day for a swim, as you can see, but YOLO, gotta get it done. Anyway, who would have thought 2020 would end up like this? So many dreams shattered after so much hard work, early mornings, and missing every Friday night party. I mean, it's hard not to feel completely ripped off. I mean, I feel crap about missing my first nationals. I can only imagine how the Olympians must feel. To be honest, at the start of this, I felt really unsure about training on my own because now more than ever, I realized how much I actually rely on my teammates because I know my squad, we're all about working together and supporting each other to achieve our goals. So it's been so weird not having that squad to rely on when you're not having the best day or something. So I've had to find a completely new routine, one that I'm definitely not used to, but I guess not only me, but the whole world's had to find this new routine that we're still getting used to. I think the most important thing is staying connected and connected with the right people. You know how you talk to your school friends and they just never get it? And I guess they never really will get it because they've never experienced it. So I guess staying connected with people that are driven and supportive and are positive towards your goals, which I'd say are my swimming friends because we're all working towards the same thing. So staying connected with them, just keeping in the loop on the old snappy. So what I've been doing is I've been going for a run almost every morning. Well, not every morning anymore because I started off with going 10Ks every day, you know, just gunning it until I realized that doesn't work. So that's a quick tip. Don't do 10Ks of running every day when you didn't used to do 10Ks of running every other day. You know, I'm not a marathon runner, so I really stuffed myself up there, but I've just been doing a little bit of running here and there. And then I've also been doing sand dunes because it's just fun to mix it up sometimes. After that, I go for a swim, even on an overcast dull day when I really don't want to be swimming. So I either train at the beach or the bay. I usually train at the beach if I'm going for like a long distance set. And then I train at the bay if I'm doing like drills or skills or butterfly work. I mean, it's so, it's like so weird doing drills in the choppy ocean. Like, who does drills in the choppy ocean and butterfly? Like, I look like a dying moth. So, like I said before, I've been doing Zoom sessions. I've been doing them every afternoon. Well, almost every afternoon. And that's pretty much just fitness-based work because that's what keeps my motivation and my drive going. Seeing other people and how hard they're working, it makes me want to work just as hard, if you get what I mean. Yes, she is. So I guess staying connected is the most important thing to me because when I wasn't staying connected, I guess I completely lost why I was training and why I was doing it because I didn't know what I was working towards because I didn't set myself any goals. I just thought, well, there's no competitions coming up. I don't really need to work for anything. But that was so wrong of me and I guess that completely lost me as a person. So then I had to recoup so I set myself some goals that I wanted to achieve in this time and I guess that just makes you feel even better already just setting yourself some goals so because you're only allowed to swim with two people I've been training with people that are faster than me and older than me so I guess I've had to try really really hard to keep up because I don't want to be shark bait <laughs> it's bright because it kind of makes me feel like a lure yeah sister if you know me you know I love a good chat but there ain't no more time for chatter now. We gotta go for a swim. Get it done, yo!